Oh, oh. oh, she's got fat legs, yeah. She started uh, four years ago. Right. Never heard of her. Me either. Fuck knows what trouble it's got is, to do with The trouble is you get into your own little cluster, don't you? And you you don't actually branch out after that. You know, you get Never five or six that you watch and that's it. Mm. Well, I found some new reviewers this week. Like the vape pound and uh, essence vapes. Oh, essence vapes has been around a while. Need to start. Need to start looking myself. See that. See more of the newer ones. I quite like the live shows. That's what I tend to. Uh, well, if I see a new room. live show, yeah, <clears throat> I tend to have a little look at that. Did it, are we behind the behind the? Yeah, behind we'll the wait and see if they can hear us. Oh, Bob's there. Chris Morrow's there, Johan's there, Patrick's there, Gareth's there, Savage yeah. Simon. In I assume that's. No, I'm just going with Simon. You're not going with Savage. That's fine. You know the and, story behind that, don't you? I think you would. Oh, no, save it, though. Save it. Save it. <laughs> we'll hear it. Mr. Intense. Fancy. Yeah, Mr. Intense. Deal on 78. Frank Amise is there. In a, Simon 62. Bob Clark. Anybody's not actually acknowledging the fact they can hear us, so. No. That's not a good sign. No, fingers crossed. Up here. Limpar 33 has just bounced in. Good. I don't know. I don't know if they can hear us. No idea. Anybody hear us? <laughs> Put your thumbs up. It sounded like a seance then. Can anybody hear us? Johnny C in the house. Oh, Rufus. Oh, this is the longest they've ever taken to acknowledge they can hear us. <laughs> uh, Rufus can hear us. <laughs> Paul can, can he? as well. Ah, oh, there you go, there you go. It's in Pibe. Have you said everyone? Andy's in. I think oh, so. Paul Ibbison's here. The Ibb Ibbison. Vapor Capers. Capers. Oh, Mc McTavish. McTavish. I think we've got them. I think we have got them. Dion78. Even, even Dion can hear us. Right, alright, I'll roll intro then. Roll the intro. Welcome <laughs> to the new Ohm show back on Wednesday nights, chapter back. 71, episode 71, whatever you want to say. It's really raining really hard on the skylight, and that's what all that noise is. <laughs> Uh, so right apologies, here. apologies for that. Uh, that'll calm down in a second, I'm sure. Uh, but we have a guest again this week in the hot seat. Simon's with us. Uh, Good we'll, evening, everybody. We'll go through all his links Shit. and stuff like that as we get as we go along. Um, but uh, yes, I'm joining joining us this week, uh, which is good. Uh, John, Thank you for inviting me on. No problem at all. Uh, it was a recommend recommendation from uh, Gareth that we had on the other week. Oh, Mr. Shrek. 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 It came with a CD. That's what we know. That's what we know. Oh, very nice one. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice guy. Very nice guy. Uh, oh, sounds awesome, according to Pat. Uh, which I'll take it. Um, so, yeah, so we, we're, we're live. We're going to have all the usual stuff, new stuff, world news, vaping news. Uh, we've got we've got stuff. the quiz M master vapor quiz. master vapor yeah. master vapor gonna be in yeah, hot yeah. seat later on answering Ooh. the questions but it's still a low bar very low uh, on dean the devil vapor got two points mm -hmm. gareth shrek got three points three points so, uh, still should be still right. snatch it should be all right um yeah heating up I think it's going to look really good in a like, few more weeks. We've got like a list as long as your arm of people's scores. Be good, it'll be good. I'll do some fancy scoreboard graphic at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's coming up. What do we usually do at the end? We usually just waffle, don't we, at the end? Just waffle. Generally, yeah, yeah, a bit of a waffle. But first, let's find out what's going on. So, John, what are you drinking? Hello, what are you vaping? This evening, I am drinking a cheeky British number oh, yeah. called Vocation, Life ah, and Death. Yeah. It was 25% off, and so I bought 24. My my wife is always very encouraging when I do that, and they 
and there's a crate of beer arrives. She's always like, oh, you scallywag. You're, you, your thing is, though, it's going to get drunk, in it? Well, I just don't think that's fine. I think you're just kidding yourself. If you if you buy it like HP, just like bit people by that bit. put people that just put ten pounds of petrol in, yeah, it's like he's going to get used. It's not going to be a uh-huh. waste of money. You're just going to uh-huh. be back here sooner, and you'll probably get a pasty again next time. So that's <laughs> and it works out. It's like one pound fifty five a can. So it's like, oh, I'm having that then. Yeah. It's normally two quid. Yeah, so you can either right. either get it get it in bulk cheaper, or just kid yourself and keep paying five pounds, six pounds, five pounds. Yeah. That's my excuse as well, but uh, not having it. That's what people said, what have we done during lockdown? I've tried unsuccessfully so far to become dependent on alcohol, but... Ugh, oh, I don't know, a... you're quite dependent. <laughs> <laughs> I have days off now. I have days and days off where I don't drink. I do my best. And I sometimes don't drink at all before midday. Like, if I'm at work, I only have, like, a cheeky shot. Or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take the edge off when I get there. So, yes, I'm drinking Vocations on Life and Death. Um, it's very nice. And I've got... The coil finally gave up on the World S, so I changed it. Um, but it lasted three weeks. And I think that's astonishing. Uh, the system to get the coil out... I know always throw away instructions. All men do that, don't they? You yeah. get something new, vaping, you just chuck it away. If it's not intu- if it's not intuitive, I'm not interested. I don't care. I'll work it out. Is there, tw- is there a twist to it or something? No, it's this. There's a little... Uh, oh, there's yeah. a little black thing there that's sort of proud. There. Oh, yeah. And, and you have to pull it back. And then it'll... And then you can pull the t- thing out. It took me fucking ages to work out. And isn't that something to do with the airflow control as well? No, the airflow controls on the, on this here, but right, but it's really easy to knock when you're doing that. No, I didn't do it, but um, and that's a pain in the arse. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, but I said the coil lasted three weeks. And is the second coil okay? Yeah, it's good. Works. Excellent. Because mm-hmm. sometimes, I, uh, sometimes as a, you'll know this well, Simon, when you're testing stuff. You can it can be going really good until you change the coil and then oh yeah it's not quite the same yeah yeah the, the consistency consistency was some <laughs> I don't think yeah and it's it, annoying it, though it really when you puts you off it really like, when you've raved about it. something though yeah when you, and you go oh it's amazing and you put the coil in and it's you know it's a no go straight away you're getting uh, when you've been vaping ages there's that that hit before it goes dry when you take a drag and you just think no stop. And that's the, and then it keeps doing it. You just think, oh, I can't be fucking bothered. Or gurgling or whistling. Well, I, I like the Watofo Smart PMP kit, where you can get for building the coils. Yeah. And I've, I've got that, I've used it, and I get a better flavour of them, rebuildables, than the actual PMP coils. Yeah. Yeah, they are. That makes they sense. Are really. You're controlling the cotton and everything, aren't you? Oh, and I've got back again the Renegade Master. No, it's the Tech Mod. Um, with a Dwar 16 on top and lemon crack 50 milligram in it. Um, oh no, what's happened to the MVP? I killed it. Oh yeah. They said it was unkillable. Bullshit. Give it to me, I'll they show you how to kill it. They never said that. No, but it looks indestructible. It didn't take as much of a kick in as I wanted it to. And it, it's currently in bits. I'm like, <clears throat> that annoyed the shit out of me. So yeah, that's what I've got. You're going to keep Annoy it as me a good time. No, that's what that's what the wife said. But what's the point? I walk around with a fucking mob that didn't do shit in my pocket. But, no, but if tool. you could keep it in your man drawer, and if the lights go off, I ain't got a man drawer. It's been my wife can't cook, and it's odd that she's the person who decides where things are in the kitchen. It's so bizarre. I'll say, um, where's that? And she go, I didn't make any sense where it was, so I put it there. Excellent. When the fuck have you ever used it? <sighs> Do you, want to do like, you want to do like I did, John, about a vape locker? A vape locker? I've got a shop. It's fine. <laughs> right. I, uh, I put it the all in there. And, and, like an old wet place. Yeah. Uh, white enamel locker. on legs, Three shelves in. Tea on it. Everything in there. I should have all, all my stuff scattered all over the place. Oh, I should just have all the cooking stuff in one cupboard. And that'd be fine. And all things like bollocks I don't care about. Like, um, Matt, what are they called? 
d- d- uh, mats, dinner mats, and all that shit. That's yeah. uh, chief in charge. I'm not in charge of that. Simon, <clears throat> what are you vaping? What are you drinking? Well, I'm drinking um, Brew Dog Punk IPA tonight. It's big bottle. Sorry about that special tonight. I don't normally drink during the week. <laughs> I like my stouts on the weekend. We didn't so tell you that. That's a 500 mil bottle, but we didn't mention Simon is actually a midget, which is good. <laughs> It's a big bottle. It's, big it's bottle. a big bottle. So, yes, yeah, got that down at the local, uh, well, bag and bows or something. And there's oh, a little, okay. Other supermarkets are off license available, <laughs> by the way. But is it the one near KFC? That's the one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Look at you two, fucking hell. Yeah. We're, Might get up that later. We're, anyway. we're local. Local people. So, I'm on the same vape device as that was an hour and a half ago on set. On Freck Show, so I'm on the Y Rice launcher, which is a Mrs.'s with tank that's a rainbow, uh, and the Vapex Meteor mod, which I love this mod. And inside of that, we've got some Billionaire Juice, which is from the Platinum Edition, which is nice. a 24 gold ice, which is a pineapple lychee, which is very nice. So there's four in the range of these, so I don't reveal for two of them. It's very fancy. So I'm on the Vaporesso Fours mod with the Oxford Solo RTA, and I, I, Ooh, this is a cracking oh, RTA. This I've got that. Yeah. So I'm really quite... enjoying this one. And inside of that, I've got some Group Clouds Corruption of the Finest. That's from Emporium Liquids, and it's a tobacco vape. Oh, nice. So that's from where Mark H in chat works his shop in Southport. So they've got a new radio at least. I didn't even know they got the internet in Southport, so that's good to see. Look at Well, I thought they had the smallest pub in Southport, but you corrected <laughs> me earlier off. <laughs> no uh, one knows. That's just, it's just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm on an Aegis solo with my custom Aegis skin. Oh, nice. With the, I forget this tank name, Stream, Steam Crave Aroma Riser Live. They're really popular. Yeah. They've never, they've always done well, those. So, inside of that, I've got some Zeus Juice, the Animal, which is one of the new ones they released. So, that's an orange, black currant, and menthol, and I'm really enjoying that one. Uh, nice fine, to see I some think that's juices, it. Yeah. I'm on the Aegis Max with my custom skin on again from Custom Aegis Skin, Jay, Hooked on Funk. Uh, Oxford Arbiter on top of that, and I've got Danny Big D Vapes favorite liquid from the Boring Vape Company, the Sampo Dilla, which is a very rather unique flavor. It's got some like oriental fruits in it, but uh, some people say it tastes like chicken tikka. <laughs> oh, okay. tobacco in that. <laughs> so that's what I'm on tonight. Chicken oh. tikka masala vapes. I think that was a vape once. I do remember a liquid. No, oh, it's a super fruit from. Oh. Was oh, it like goji like, berries or something like that? Well, it's, I, don't, I looked into it when I reviewed it. It's a, I forget where it's from, South America or something like that. Oh, okay. Never so, heard of it. Yeah, but if you like it, you like it. Yeah, good. Hmm. Ricciardi, though. Yes. Though. Okay. Um, found this in the in my wife's car, so mm-hmm. I'm having a little play with this. This is the the sec the Wenax V2. Uh, they did the first one was very good. I don't remember much about this one. Uh, yeah, it's fine. That's what the wife's been using, is it? Yeah, but when the battery goes or it runs out of juice, she just puts it in like the glove box or puts it to oh. one side. She doesn't bring it back to sort out. And so, Why would she? Her husband's got about five hundred mods. Yeah, fine. She, she's even started just coming in and grabbing stuff. It's annoying. It is funny when people people have said to my wife before, like, oh, I must be mad if he does that for a living. He must have, like, what, four or five mods? And she went, <laughs> yeah. <Nice. laughs> um, so the, I don't even know what juice I put in there. Oh, oh, it's the, the last of this. The deadline. Oh, deadline, uh, limeade. Yeah. Limeade in a betting. Yeah, they don't even make it anymore. I know. And then, yeah, Arbiter, like yourself, a solo one. Uh, nice. On the... Mustang. Uh, in there is crack current. Oh, crackcurrent. running low. Uh, which is nice, nice at the, at the lower wattage. And then I've got my main thing at the moment, which is the screamer on the drag three, with 
a watermelon, a watermelon juice. Oh, oh yeah, is that from the, them as well? But yeah. no, it's. <laughs> yeah, from the petrol station. The only problem is with watermelon, just straight watermelon, is the coil is now fu- like fucked because it's just it's getting rid of the flavour. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, the actual juice is perfectly pleasant because it can go either way with fruits like that, can't it? it can be yeah. sharp and weird. And, or, I find uh, that watermelon is synthetic. T- trying to get it out of the tank is just really difficult. But um, it's absolutely fine. But yeah, the the cotton doesn't last long. The coils don't last long. But it's fine. It's all right. They're doing all right with that line. That fantasy line. It's pretty pretty solid. Pretty standard stuff. <laughs> pretty solid. Two quid liquid liquid. I think it's about a tenner. Is it really? I'm, I'm talking about wholesale. Fifty p. <laughs> uh, and then and then cider. Cider. What cider have you got? I don't. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's scrumpy. Have you got anything else? I've got another one. I've bought already. You've got two pints? Yeah. In the glass? Uh, Why is it in a keg or something? It was in a two and a half litre bottle. <laughs> Fucking strong, but It was like a fat, it looked like a fat bottle of Pepsi. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Excuse it. <laughs> Fuck off. You're going to be, Jack. you're going to feel like shit tomorrow. <laughs> Mm. That's the right. Uh... It's lovely. Um, so that's an actual thing, John. Hello, mate. Oh, I don't have my devices with me. What do you think about the real world and that? Which bit? <laughs> Are you enjoying the Olympics? Um, I my 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 good wife is a big Olympic. She really loves swimming. She used to she used to swim competitively, so she really likes watching the swimming. Okay. Um. And it's sort of on in the was sort of on in the background last week, and I was kind of ignoring it. And they're now track and field, aren't they? And I was, and because it's happening in the night, as any the BBC News, the I, sorry, the BBC iPlayer is a, such a piece of shit because you don't, you can't just watch an event. You have to watch. So we were trying to watch the pentathlon today and the four hundred meter hurdles because that was what was in the iPlayer, but it was interspersed with um, skateboarding. And you might as well say whatever when they're commentating on that. Because I don't know anything about skateboarding. So they'd go, they'd be like, oh, this is a bit of a nick of a joke that somebody did last week about gymnastics. But you could honestly do this. Like, oh, there she goes. She's up. She's on the top rail. Hot dog. Spin back. Flip down A14. Straight over M25. Into an Oreo. Cream in the middle. Bang. I don't know what the fuck anything you're saying makes But some people shit. watching will know, won't they? Absolutely, but I couldn't tell the difference between the good people and the bad. I had no idea what the fuck was happening. Was so weird. The, uh, the thing I've noticed this time is a lot of water-based stuff. And what were the, there's always been loads of swimming. But they like they were, they were they were they were doing the swimming dancing. You got that? Yeah, synchronized swimming today, yeah. and they, and then it flicks straight to well, what is basically water-based handball. Which is polo, isn't it? Oh, water polo, right? Fuck, Fuck that's polo. not that isn't a viewing sport, is it? That's not. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> uh, then they've got the uh, jump, uh, jumping into the pool. Uh, diving. Yeah. Yeah. Then all these swimming ones, all these variations of all the freaking. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's a water-based thing. This whole Olympics is just water everywhere. You do get these things like I don't, Tom Daly, who's obviously. We won the gold, but I am. Um, I'm happy we won a medal, but oh, he, he's such a loathsome little prick. I just can't <laughs> get over that every time. I really fucking hate Tom Daly. Yeah. They're like, I like does his little swim, does the diving thing, I'm and then they go, to, I'm let's interview him. him. Yeah, I'm pleased for him. I just don't want to hear about it. But yeah. it's like, um, what's his name? Who's the Grand Prix driver? Uh, British one. I'm t- I, I'm t- uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. He obviously clearly brilliant at Grand Prix. I just don't want to hear from him. I do think he's a wanker. I just don't have any interest in anything he ever said, ever, about anything. I just don't care. But, so that's my opinion of the I, uh, I, Olympics. My... Oh, I, I haven't watched one single second of the Olympics. Oh, really? And it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Only time I watched it when it were 2012, when it were in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there was, was missing... something special about it. We're missing some ones. It's because of time difference and... Going yeah. back to the coverage of BBC, I've got the right. They've lost the rights to something, and they're dictated to what's been shown. 
Oh, okay. but you can't get like ten screens up wide on your BBC iPlayer and pick a. Yeah, because I just want to watch an event. I do remember oh. that watching. I like, I remember being in a pub when um, Mo uh, Farrah yeah. won the won the. Um, uh, Whatever it was, was it the marathon or whatever the fuck it was? And it was incredible. Everyone was on their feet, like, yeah, and it, yeah. it was just amazing. And watching us win, and we all, we got Paralympics after this, didn't we? We're really good at that because we're always yeah, yeah we got going into wars well, we yeah, shouldn't yeah. be in and getting yeah, our arms on in America. Final. Yeah, shit <laughs> on that. Shit, on. we got loads of contenders because we're always getting young people's arms and legs. It's had some off. nice moments this Olympics, like Tom Daly finally getting a gold. Uh, yeah. Was it Johnny Brownlee finally getting a gold? Is that the swimmer? The triathlete. Oh, right. and there's that swimmer that looked, um, who won won three medals. Yeah. Shelley was yeah. chuffed with Miss Chubb. She was chuffed with that. Yeah. That's how I don't really care. My, she said, so what do you think of the swimming, my wife? And I said, well, you know, I said that football is really fucking boring and you made me watch three matches of that shit. Oh. You have wow. beaten it. You have beaten it with this. This is really fucking boring. <clears throat> my main issue with Olympics will always be Sports that shouldn't be at the Olympics. The sports, Dancing up. the sports where it's not the pinnacle. Yeah. So and golf. It, yeah. You know. Boxing. Tennis. Boxing doesn't I, count. I don't mind amateur boxing because that is the pinnacle of amateur boxing, isn't it? Sort of. But it, it's pros. It's pros that don't need to be there in any way. Being there. Everything. The every event that involves a horse football shouldn't be there i don't get it at all like nobody you are not going to get the best in the world because the best of the world who likely would never own a fucking horse so they're not going to be there but do they still have clear pigeon shooting yeah they do we, we, i don't we, really we, we lost our competitor this year she got covid well yeah she got covid two days for sure she's the best she's the best skeet shooter in the world and um Two days before, yeah, she got swabbed and uh, positive, and uh, yeah. let's go. So she's been training for five years to fucking to do this in the school class. Like Awful, oh, suboptimal. Uh, yeah, what do you reckon about um, Rihanna officially becoming a billionaire? I did see that earlier. I don't. She did sung something about umbrellas, but I don't. Oh yeah, I don't really that's know. right. I don't know any songs. My do you begrudge the money these pop stars get? Not really. There's worse people with more money. What about the yeah, Bezos? What, what about what? them having loads of money but still moaning about things like Spotify? That's the, oh. the, but the trouble with that is a toxic music industry and a toxic um, movie industry as well. And they knew what was coming. And why didn't they lean into it? If you if you give me the option between stealing stuff and you know there being a possible you know problem or or being able to stream whatever I want all the time and paying a subscription. I choose the subscription. The point is, though, you can't. Mm. And they should have lent into it ages ago. I use YouTube Music and I pay a subscription. And YouTube Music is way better than Spotify because you can, you, you, even if you like a track but you don't like the studio, you can listen to the acoustic or you can listen to a live version or whatever and you just stream the music off it. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of tough shit. I, and we, everyone knew which way the industry was going. And instead of leaning into it, they they've, it isn't the they've, eventually, fault. they've eventually monetized it now, haven't they? they yeah, they figured it out in the end. I think yeah, it's, yeah, the, I think it's like the smaller it. artists that suffer now. Oh, well, it's the royalties, you mean? Yeah, yeah. they weren't getting paid, were they? By so, what, by say, uh, some of these songs played on the radio, radio leads or whatever. Mm. So they get paid. I don't know how much. I don't know. It, 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 depends, it, it depends, yeah. It's not a lot, but it adds up, if you think but about like, it. Like a top top eight in the top ten or whatever, that we're getting played over the world five, six times a day on that same station, won't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, once you make the proper uh, airplay lists, then you're doing all right, I think. Yeah, yeah um, I just think... I, I, I don't mind people. People are going to moan about it. So I don't want to hear... As I said, the likes of Jeff Bezos and... Branson came out with something the other week, didn't he? He said... Do you know what makes you... He said, the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that money doesn't make you happy. All right then, Richard. Fucking bang your... Stick it all in a bag and leave it at Heathrow. Shut up, you twat. I fucking hate Richard Branson. Fucking... Yeah. He looks like a knock-off Peter Stringfellow. Fuck off, you twat. <laughs> he's, he's a bit detached, isn't he? Oh, he's Some so off this planet. He sued the NHS three times. He's a cunt. 
so that's the real that's the real news. But what's going real on news? in the vaping world? What's going on? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So I have a bit of news. What oh, Richard on, might know about. Oh, go on. Uh, Jake Manglewurzel. Have you heard about him? You've lost One me of now. One eccentrics. Oh no. What you used, used to live up Outland near the Wappy Springs. Right. What's happened? Uh, he passed away today. Oh, what was he? What was he? What was his? Well, yeah, he, he lived on a farm and he used to drive around in a battered old car with like a, a bathtub on top of the car, <laughs> and then he had a, had a toilet on top of the car. Right. And he, he, was a, he married his dog. You'll have to research it, Jake Mangle Wazel. Oh, I'll have a look. Was the legend. So he, he passed away today. Oh, oh wow! Right. Out. So is it in the paper or something? Yeah, Examiner. Oh, wow. So he had a farmhouse that bent down, and they got a caravan, and they were like self-sufficient in this field. The caravan burnt down. That, that is something that Brandon does. He's been on that TV way. program where they go around what, West Houses or something. You know, you know what I mean? When they go around, it's all a mess. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the thing that Britain does better than anyone else. Eccentrics are brilliant. Uh, yeah. we, no one has eccentrics like like we do. I said I've done this on the show before. There's a guy in our village who dresses up as a Native American, full headdress. Um, he's got the top and everything. He lives with his mum. He's about seventy, yeah. and he just walks through the village. No one, no one bats an eyelid. Nothing. Like if you if you were in another, country, people would be going, "What the fuck?" No one even cares. Who gives a shit? Does he like, have the it. Does he have the Indian patter? No, I didn't. Never spoken a word to him. He's oh. not very outgoing, oh. which is quite weird. He dresses like that. Yeah. But he's quite shy. Yeah, he likes to keep to himself. <laughs> likes to keep himself to himself. <laughs> he just walks past and nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> like someone go, do you see a Native American Indian go past? Yeah, he's just up there. Yeah. Do you know where he lives? Yeah, he lives down there with his mum. So on a night time, we see smoke signals going up and back again. Oh, Christ, those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's another guy who's got always got uh, like the crotch Polly, of his... Polly just realised it really suits him. Well, no, I said, yeah, I mean, how do you do that? Was he in a fancy dress shop and he went, oh, a bit of a, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how for now. We're going to put this on. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he does dress normally sometimes. Um, let's go for <clears throat> vaping news. Everybody's favourite misinformation service, the WHO, oh. are in the news. Headline is The Who's latest tobacco report perpetuates THR misinformation. Uh, we'll go with that, don't worry. As predicted, the World Health Organization eighth annual report on the global tobacco pandemic reiterates the agency's misguided stance on safer nicotine alternatives such as vaping products and nicotine pouches, labeling them a threat rather than an opportunity. In a press release about the report, UK-based public health agency Knowledge Action Change highlighted the following points. No fewer smokers around the world in 2021 than when the WHO's framework convention on tobacco control was enacted. Global Institute Institution insists safe nicotine products pose threat when evidence shows they offer a significant opportunity to help adult smokers quit. Harm reduction long integrated into WHO response on drugs and HIV and AIDS but not smoking. Which they've got completely right. So the Who's advice on things like heroin is, um, you know, uh, therapy and um, I can't think what it's called now. Sorry, uh, the the safe, heroin, the safer form of it. Safer form, yeah, that, that you, you get from the pharmacy and that. From the pharmacy and that. Obviously, HIV and AIDS. So are they, are they pro that? The... No, yeah, Who are pro that? Mm -hmm. Oh no. The, but who are pro all these things, but they're not pro it with smoking. When yeah. it comes to smoking, they don't want harm reduction. When it's clear, we know for a fact, like the war on drugs never fucking worked, even though um, Captain Dipshit, the Prime Minister of our country, has just started a new war on drugs. Fucking idiot. But it's never worked. You, where harm reduction works time and time again, where you just say, you know. <clears throat> It, let's make a safer way yeah. for you to carry on doing what you're doing. Oh, yeah, no, maybe not with heroin, but you know what I mean. Um, this It's just a total bollocks approach. The KAC, so the latest report, uh, the WHO, uh, 
<clears throat> are, tragically, uh, are tragically ignoring independent data and growing international scientific evidence indicating the effectiveness of the products in helping quit deadly tobacco product. 1.1 billion people continue to smoke worldwide and 8 million lives are lost annually to smoking-related disease. Figures that have remained static for two decades. Unable to demonstrate that tobacco control strategy has resulted in meaningful outcomes, the most important of which would be substantial declines in smoking. Which we, and we've looked at the ways they tried to, the governments have tried to stop people smoking that aren't vaping, they don't work. Unbranded cigarettes don't work. Covering the sanction, they mm, don't work. Putting the price up. Putting the price up, but only not substantially, just putting it up by two percent it's it's so stupid it's the most addictive product for sale in any shop it going up by 10p it's not going to do anything except make the government more money mm -hmm, um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is i had a discussion with a friend the other day because there's <clears throat> the other thing that happens is that there's an, like another room ago it was mentioned i can't remember a couple of weeks ago by somebody in parliament by comment i don't know which side of the house or anything it was but they were talking about what smokers cost the nhs the answer shithead is nothing yeah. as long as they keep breathing long enough there is no fucking way they have paid they paid 98 percent tax for yeah. all the time they've been smoking they're not you're lying that's bullshit yeah. talk of the cost implications of obesity is a different thing because you have a better tax. argument with alcohol Alcohol and obesity is way, way, yeah, yeah, definitely a bigger argument. And not but the, but the tax on alcohol is not insignificant, is it? No, 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 no. Well, it's nearly, yeah, it's nearly 50% now on something. Mm. It's just pretty insane. Yeah, I don't think the Who will ever come over to our side. Uh, I think it's a money thing. But I'm glad they're being ignored. And I actually, COVID has done them a dis... Uh, uh, well, has shown them, shown the world what they do. Yeah. Which is go for money. They don't care. Like, they're not... Which is a shame because they were quite accurate at the beginning when when the outbreaks were COVID were happening in China they were, f were getting some fair information, and then I started to get worried when they said that when they were publicising bullshit control testing on things that couldn't possibly work like uh, nic sticking nicotine patches on induced coma patients in well, they, France they, they, they wobbled on mask masks quite a lot but the a one lot, th yeah. the one thing they were always certain on was testing. And they were proven right on that. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, but uh, I agree they they're not uh, they're not. They've not, shown not, themselves not, now, and luckily the um, Public Health England had long ignored who on on uh, vaping, and yeah, the government had yeah. said get fucked. And well, they didn't. They even... discredit everything they say. Yeah. And they didn't even. The good thing was they did their who convention was it last month, and we actually didn't have a representative from the UK there, which is great. That is the best fuck you not coming. Yeah. yeah right. And France and Germany, who've done really well with, with vaping as well. Don't mention America. They must have loved it. <laughs> Taking notes. What else does it do? Make your ears get bigger. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? Okie dokie. It's from the Vaping Post again, because I just thought it was all right to see him. I didn't know. This is your way as well, up oh, in yeah. Yorkshire. The IBVTA are not all dead. The Independent um, British Vaping Trade Association, who were very quiet during the pandemic, have uh, popped up and they're doing stuff. <clears throat> IBVTA participates in New Vaping Demystified short movie produced by Eskimo Soup LTD and Storyboard Media LTD. The short investig investigative movie takes a closer look at the myths and misconceptions surrounding vaping with the aim of providing smokers with the information needed to make an informed to make informed decisions about vaping products smoking is yorkshire's leading cause of preventable cancer and is responsible for over 4500 new cases each year the film form parts forms part of a wider campaign of awareness of vaping in an aim to help reduce yorkshire's lead leading cause of early death the campaign includes a myth buster um yorkshire cancer researches position statement on vaping and advice and information from smokers read uh read a release by the ibbta so this must so be they... a, n a new one because there was already a vaping demystified video so they must be doing a f another one and he must IBBTA be doing BTA jumped in on it yeah, and they've they've really kind of got quite a few pe people together. Um, Gillian Golden, who I've talked to a couple of times in the past, the IBVTA chief executive, 
Um, says that given the recent release of the Public Health England report, the timing of the movie couldn't be better. The IBVTA is extremely proud to contribute to the greater understanding of the opportunity that vaping represents to public health across Yorkshire, especially so soon after the publication of the PHE's seven, seventh evidence report, which found that although vaping was better than NRT for quitting smoking, misunderstandings about e-cigarettes was preventing smokers making the switch. We hope the film and campaign are a huge success yeah. and more smokers across Yorkshire will have the confidence to give vaping a try. It'd be really good. These things, just the other thing that they need to do, unlike the other, the past vaping films, they need to be done in a timely fashion and they need to be released for free. You need to get, you know, get back, get backing from sponsors. Don't make people pay to view because they're not going to. Who the fuck? Oh, who yeah. wants to quit smoking are going to go sit down, love. <laughs> Here we go. There's only eight ninety nine. Let's sit down and watch an educational film about vaping. <laughs> yeah. And I think this is it. It is short. You know, it's not. What was the vaping? Um, it was a vaping film years ago. Billion Lives. Too. Yeah. And it failed because it was. It I keep expecting short. that to pop up on like Netflix or because mm. they do buy these uh, sort of outdated docs don't they sometimes it's two years out of date on release because it took so long to get it together they held it back to win an award at a festival so dumb (sighs) they were talking about things on it which had just been so disproven like it was so stupid bless and lastly from money week oh this was quite interesting ish yeah it's a read in between the lines Marlborough man stubs it out as Philip Morris CEO says, ban cigarettes. They use the inverted commas, not me. The boss of giant tobacco giant um, Philip Morris has called for a cigarette ban in the UK, but the industry isn't about to disappear. In a move that would see the company's main product outlawed, the CEO of, the, of Philip Morris International has called on the UK government to ban cigarettes within a decade. He literally meant 2030. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just according... don't think you can do it, though, can you? It's just well, it's a just, bit like this a... is just a, this is a free advert that he they managed to get. Philip Morris managed to get in five papers by, by saying this. If, but if you actually start thinking about the logistics of it, it's it's equally as unfair to ban it tomorrow as it is in twenty thirty. Because if you're addicted, you're addicted, aren't you? Mm. If that... we're just not dealing with the, I mean. I think all of us, uh, assuming Simon, you're an ex-smoker, we all would wish not to pass it on to younger generations. Because I, I, I don't have a go at anyone for smoking, but there's not. I do feel a pang of disappointment when I see a 17-year-old walk down the road with a fag hanging out. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do think you're a fucking knob. Because although yeah. the information was kind of there, I started smoking in 1993. It was there, but it was cool. And you could buy fags fucking everywhere. I'll tell you what they could do. They could say in 2030, the smoking legal age will be 30. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. in 2040, it'll be 40. No, that's not a bad idea, and then you keep going. Yeah. I always wonder what they did. You know when they put the age up from 16 to 18? If you were already on 20 bents in a day, and they moved it, you'd have been like, what? You can have your next fag in two years. Calm down. Because we've met, phased other things out, like marrying your sister and stuff. Marrying what? Your sister and all that. No, not in Suffolk. We're still up to it. Most of the places, though, because it used to be common. Yeah. Like, they must say, right, you can marry your sister, but if you have kids, they can't marry. Uh, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> so they phased it out on a generational thing. She's got a lovely set, so. Set, so. This this go what they said. They want to ban cigarettes. Twenty thirty. Yeah. What's been said about the revenue? What they get from the taxation now? Then. Well, what, this what is going to do. What they're going to do about that? Have to, yeah, they're going to have to. That's, that's. This has always been the problem. Like, I would trust the UK government and believe they were doing anything about cigarettes if they were trying to cover the huge hole that cigarettes would cause. You, you know, itself from petrol, diesel. The alcohol in your cigarettes, that's where they get the most taxation from. Yeah, it's just absolutely massive. But, yeah, yeah, it's huge. But does does it re, does the economy really work like that? If someone doesn't spend that £20 on cigs, 
Well, at the moment it does. You are. It? You do project it, don't you? Or do they you... spend it anyway? Oh, so you're going to go and buy oh, donuts? You know. Yeah, but yeah, but the tax man's not getting enough of that. I don't know if these things. What's a pack of pencils? Twelve quid. Even out, you know. And it costs forty p to produce. So you're kind of, and they tell you the bloke who sells it to is making fifty p. The government they're making that's a lot. That's like eleven quid. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. It's. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't I've always know. thought they need to re totally overhaul VAT because it's bollocks. Like so many things, there's things in it that shouldn't be in it, and there's things that exist that should be in it. Like, yeah, like, uh, are they thinking well promoting vaping, and they might think in a year or two. Tax, tax. Well, we always kind of thought that that might happen, but if it did and they came in low, they would qualify it, and you would be safe forever. When smoking's no longer a problem, there would there would be a justification to tax yeah. vaping to phase that out, you know. But I don't see a problem if they put in five percent now. Say, it would. The only thing it would do is qualify it. Because five p on a pound is not that bad for us, mm. and. We could all, and they could do nothing about us then. You know, you're safe. You could just go, and anyone who wasn't sure, I mean, the government getting money off it. You'd think, well, it's got to be quite safe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Like, like you say, it's a bit of a cheap, easy, easy thing for Mr. Marlborough to say. Yeah, and get into, well, you got in five newspapers in the UK and Christ knows where else in the world saying, like, every, every time the headline was wholly misleading, it said, you know, it said Imperial Tobacco, so, sorry, Philip Morris say, ban cigarettes. No, they fucking didn't. That's not what that says. Yeah, it, yeah. They, yeah they could stop selling them if they feel Yeah, so go on strongly. then. If you give a shit, stop. Yeah. I remember back in the good old days when a tobacco rep could give you free bags. That was great. I used to run a shop. They'd say, these ones are new out. And you go, well, are they as delicious as the rest? And they go, well, you have a pack. Well, let me know. Mm. And I'd think, they are incredibly addictive and cancer-causing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Can I have a free lighter? Yes, you can. Uh, what should we do next? <clears throat> should we talk to Simon? Or Let's we... talk to Simon. Right, <laughs> right Simon. What's... What's the crack? What is the crack with you? How long have you been doing this sort of stuff? How long have you been vaping? How, oh, long, how long have you been doing YouTube? All that stuff. I started vaping eight, eight going on nine years ago now. Good. So, so I was in uh, roll, roll it tobacco. Yeah. And then uh, the missus had a heart attack. So she oh. used to smoke. She, she stopped. And then I said, well, I might as well stop. At the same time, and I had my last packet of amber leaf, 50 gram, and then that were gone. I went into this field, and the only vaping shop were totally wicked at the time. Yeah. I know, got went in there, I got a simple little pen thing, and then start. that's where I started my journey. Mm. What was the first flavour that tickled your fancy? I got an uh, aniseed tobacco, and then Eisenberg. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. But then, That's when good. did when did you start doing all this YouTube craziness? It's coming up to my year anniversary in a couple of weeks' time. Sixteenth uh, of August last year. Uh, are you enjoying it? Yes, yes, I quite enjoy the live shows I do on a Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I've I've, I've caught one of those, I think. Um, I'm uh, a bit of a marathon. We're a six-hour <laughs> one this week. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I saw. I noticed that. Why? How? What happened there? You just, just well, Adam, just... we were on the uh, flat caps and uh, we sent Link out to him, and then he he, he bobbed over. <laughs> and it, it just first hour seems to take, take a while to get going, and then it depends. It, it, time just flies, I see. Yeah, we're having a good time. Sometimes we do four hours, we do five, and that bloody yeah. hell. But it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I like to say a massive thanks to Danny Big D Vapes who set me off on this journey when I went up to Fifth. Ah, so it's his fault, is it? Uh, shopping on Firth, opposite the famous court car park. Yeah. When I went in, because I, I, uh, I noticed it on YouTube. I was watching YouTube reviewers, and it, I just saw one of him, and I clicked on his profile. Oh, oh, Firth. Well, it's only a quarter of an hour up road. Yeah. So I went in there, and then the uh, rest is history. Yeah, it's a good. It's got a good shop, hasn't he? So he's opened a new one in Slawit. Yeah. Or Slawit or Slawit. So. Yeah. Yeah, so what it was, I'd been going in there for a month or two, and then uh, 
I went up on Saturday, there were many vapes there, and Pete from Vape this one were there. And Pete gave me a, well, then, this, a Spire Mini Cam. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, little, like, yeah. little one. So, takes it home. And I've, I've got various devices before then, so I, I, Sunday I went out, I was a bit bored, I sat in the kitchen, just put my, put my phone on a cat box, and then with 40 packs on a, on a little table, and just did a, a one-off right, uh, review on it, sent it to Danny, two hours later, it, it made an intro, edited it, <laughs> and then he says, you want to get that uploaded onto your YouTube channel, which I, I had set up from 2015, never put out on it, and then he promoted it on the Nova Uni Vape Show, and that's it, boom, boom, boom. Brilliant. Excellent. So you, uh, you build, you're building a little uh, sort of like Yorkshire vaping mafia, aren't you now? Oh, you've got Big D, you've got yeah. yourself, you've got Gareth. Yeah. yeah. It's got a right Benny name. Vapes. Yeah, Benny. Be oh, where's Benny based? Leeds. Oh, right. And we've got JP from Hull. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you've got a, a real Yorkshire thing going on there. Well, I, 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 so I really enjoyed it because it, it happened in in the lockdown situation, yeah. so we weren't going out. And uh, I'm a carer, so I've, I've time on my hands, so I just started doing it, and I, I really enjoy doing the. The only thing what got me was editing, so I, I'm a bit like Danny. I, I did it. I do everything on my phone, and he showed me what apps to get. Yeah. So I got this uh, video, uh, video guru, what you do all the edited editing on. So I downloaded it. I had no idea how to operate it. So I asked my 15 year old granddaughter, showed me how to do it, and then uh, I do everything on my phone. Reviews, that's it. So you nice. Yeah, very good. So then come March, I, uh, I met Gareth. First time I met Gareth up at Danny's shop. Yeah. And I had an inkling because uh, I've been going on some live shows, been invited on a few, and I really liked it. And I've been on a, a co host on VP Manx show, and then uh, went on JP's Friday night show, yeah. and I, I decided to start a, a Saturday show. I, won't, I didn't know how it, it would go. So and it's just like lads having a at the pub talking all sorts yeah we've got some cracking guests on and uh, i really enjoy doing it yeah what um what did you we back in the day when you first started so you started in 2013 yeah um were you watching youtube reviewers back in no not, not to start with no you didn't see any i did well i didn't really no no i thought i did i just did wonder because gareth was the same he didn't really oh, seem to watch anybody no it might have been 2000. A couple of years later, I started watching, like, Vaping with Vic and that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And do you know, like, um, so you watch Vaping with Vic and Grim Green? Yeah, I've seen some of his. Well, that's only, re re well, last five years. Yeah. And um, yeah, so you've slowly got more into it. Vaping yeah. Bogan. Yes, but yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you do your, t how do you edit your TikToks, John? Just through TikTok hey. itself? Yeah, well, on my phone. Who's doing to what we talk, we're talking well, about? TikTok? You're doing. You're making videos on your phone. Yeah. Are, are you are you using like third party tools to edit yours? It depends. Sometimes I do. Sometimes uh, I don't. Okay. It depends. If you're doing some sort of camera trick, then I use something else. Um, but yeah, not so much. On my phone, you can put emojis on there. You can have effects and you put different Oh, things absolutely. It depends. But like my TikTok's nothing to do with vaping. It's just no, me. No, it's me my, being a socialist wanker. My, my way. I've, I've got Windows Movie Player on here on my PC. I've yeah. no idea how to use that <laughs> and I don't want to use it. Yeah, my way seems really old fashioned now. Having, what, having a proper DSLR and putting it onto a proper uh, editing I've just software. Got a, and... I've just got a simple webcam here. It's almost and I use it phone. That's it. Yeah, it almost a seems tripod and a, a thing that holds it for download. Everything on there, it suits me. Yeah, yeah. There's so many. There, there, I mean, it's changed so much. Luckily, due to vaping and stuff, and well, I, I've always, I always know what different apps do. I only joined TikTok because I thought it'd be like I was doing it to make stupid um, singing oh. videos, and then Mark told me to stop. Oh, and then, another thing, because I, I buy 99% of my stuff. I've been recently getting sent some juice and stuff, but I started entering competitions. Oh, well, How do you on mean? Instagram and Twitter. Oh. PC click competitions, and I started winning and winning and winning. Nice. Oh, wow. But that's where I get most of my review stuff from. 
Oh, that's a good idea, actually. But the stuff I do buy, like the Oxford Arbiter Solo, uh, the Oxford Solo, sorry, uh, it's something I want because I'm, I'm more into the mouth to lung side of things. Yep. So I do pick and choose the items I want. Yep. But I'm not under any pressure from any company to get this, that, and another done. I can do it when and where I want it, and that's why I like it. Nice. That's a good idea. Nice. <clears throat> that's very good. Very good. Uh, we will be putting. I'll start putting. I'll start putting your links in chat as well, so people can find you and all that good stuff. What was your first proper proper mod? Like proper fancy mod? Oh, I had it out over there. Cool, cool fire four mod with a ISO tank on top. Yes, cool fire. All right. Yeah. All right. Is that the? Was that the cheap or was that when they turned? Oh, no, that. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I know what you mean. Looks like a small C frame. Yeah, it's like a funny shape. Yeah. It's got a switch up button. Yeah, it's the one they've. Oh, okay. Anakin. Cool fire. Four. I can't remember what the cool fire looked like. Honestly, I don't remember the cool fire for. The f five. What like that... like an 18650 battery tube, and then yeah. it, it come out and your screen were on this side. Yeah, but the fire button was on the bottom. No, five over on the side. Oh, yeah, on yeah, yeah. Switch, this is the one on and off switch on bottom. Yeah, they've re-released, yeah. I had that. The iSub, though, was I hated that tank. I hated it when it first came I out. Sub. That was one with bad coils sometimes. Yeah. It auto-siphoned and emptied everywhere. They, um, um, they brought out... I had an iSub on a cool fire. And hmm. they brought out three different versions of it. Like It was oh. really weird. Like There was an iSub B, iSub C, iSub D. And then, oh, inevitably, because it was all forums back then, yeah. everyone was like, oh, well, the C's good. No, no, the D's good. No, yeah. no, it was, it was it's like the Aegis line. I've got a new to the Aegis. So, since I was doing a Saturday show, and uh, one of my co is Jay, who come from Custom Aegis Skins, I bought the mod. I bought the skin off Jay, but they have a mod, so I had to buy the uh -huh. Max mod. <laughs> How does he do that? What's that? How does he put those custom? Is it is it effectively a sticker? Well, it is, but it's got a coating on it. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's very smart. But I don't wear it off, so I can have any 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 design you want, more or less. It's very smart. And then I, I got uh, the solo from Amazon Bargains well, about six months ago. When they had a right sale for a, a weekend, and I think I picked that up for eleven ninety nine. Wow, that's good. You've got to be well. Oh. Yeah, if you're buying your gear, you've got to be really shrewd, don't you? I suppose. Um, very good indeed. Uh, let's have, oh. let's have a look at some new stuff. Do you have the feed up of the? Oh. Can you see the show on YouTube, Simon? Yeah, I've got them Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Which uh, behind us? Yeah, I'll pop the first picture up. Oh, oh, so sorry. this is. Because we weren't on last week, were we? No. Right, right. we weren't on last week, Oops. so there's uh, quite a few, some quite good stuff to show. Always helps. Let me know you can see the first one, John. Will do. Um, this, but this is the this is the, the first one you will be able to see. Oh, this got it. The, I can oh, see it. Yay! The fat rabbit, the Hellvate fat rabbit. Um, and this is a real actual picture by some Yeah, because we, we've we've had a few, thing. haven't we? <laughs> We've had a few of renditions. Yeah, but... people showing the deck and bits like that. I like that because I think they've gone knurling mad, but I, I'm all right with that. Knurl drip tip, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think it, for a big tank, it's actually not that ugly. No. It's sort it's of straight right. up and down, isn't it? It's, yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that. We've seen it before with the knurling on the top cap and then knurling then again on the, repeating on the drip tip, and I wouldn't do my head in. But I quite like that matte black finish as well. I don't really hate that. Yeah. I'm okay with that, looks wise. Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty smart. Uh, from, I've only seen bits and bats of reviews. Uh, it seems to be doing okay. It's it's very from to to my eye, it's very steam gravy. Yeah. The way that the, you can pull the deck out and uh, yeah, uh, but it seems to be doing quite well. Seems very popular, so that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I put this on as a little side. This this was all over social last week. We weren't on. Um, have you seen this geek vape? Uh, the, I've become an official partner of the PSG football team. Oh, I saw that, yes. That's yeah. mind-boggling to me. Who are PSG football PSG, team? Paris, Paris football team. Oh, oh yes, I've seen that, yeah. Basically, basically the biggest team in oh, France. Oh, wow. The best team in France. 
fuck. It's it's. I don't know. They've announced this. They've done a few pictures and all that. I don't know what it will really entail. I don't know what. Like it's obviously not on the front of the shirt. I don't know what. I don't know where it'll really go or live, or what will happen. But that's that seems really big. That is, does seem very 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 big. And it sort of shows that France are sort of with us on vaping a bit as well, sort of mentality. France and Germany have always been the same as us, yeah. I think. I it think there's nothing very, to call it. It mustn't be taboo at all, in a way. But for them it shouldn't be. It just shouldn't be, should it? Everyone, fuck it. Also, Stop fucking smoking. Also, and we don't know exactly, like I said, I don't know exactly how this will play out. Also, it's a reminder of how much money some of these vape companies have, um, because that will have cost some money. <laughs> Or price tax off, though, isn't it? You can just write it off. Yeah, but that will have been a serious chunk to get a PSG to yeah. agree to that. My dad sponsored a cricket team once and they won the league. It was like a nightmare. Like, we went to go and watch them. We were really chuffed. We were kids watching it and they got my dad's company written on the front and they won. And we were like, yeah! And my dad was doing that. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> they don't win, you fucking idiot. Uh now, this is pretty pretty funky. We've shown this mod before. It's the um, Kugo Vape one with the side button. Uh, and they were just doing plain ones before, but they're doing fancy ones now. Sort of like marbly, sort of resiny style ones. I think it looks really neat. I don't know why one of them's upside down in that picture. Just waiting for it to appear. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's still on the wall, Mom. I don't think he knew it was upside down. Oh, it was because they were trying to get the out, because they were trying to get it. Frames right, weren't they? So the battery tubes were facing out. Uh, right. And the only way to do it was turning it upside down. I still think that's a pretty smart looking mod. Keep uh, the button. Almost in. even, but I, I, th- I don't know. I'm sure it's called the Loki, but it's uh, not fuck ugly, is it? I mean, I don't like the colours, but <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad looking mod. I don't think that. I think that's all right. Single, a single cell regulated device. I th- I'm sure it's called the Loki, but in this text it says Jane box mod. So maybe they've. Renamed it for this finish or something like that. Have you got a? Is there like an RRP cheap, on that? Cheap, cheap, cheap. Very cheap. Yeah, I think it's a resin body. Like there's no wood in it at all. It's just a piece of resin actually. Uh, but it's still nice. Yeah, I think it's. I yeah, think it's, it's almost right. stabby, isn't it? They've yeah, gone with. I, think it's all right. I don't know. I don't know how new this one is, but Lost Vape have just done a big new push on it. This is the Lost Vape Hyperion. 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 DNA 100. Um, so they've done, I don't know if this is a new finish or what, but it's one of these sort of rugged Aegis S. Yeah, it looks Aegis yeah, type, doesn't it? Yeah, rubber on the side, sort of C frame. Oh, if it's rugged, chuck it my way. Let's see what I can do with it. That's yeah, what I think. Pretty, I think, again, that, I think that's a pretty solid looking mod. Good board, obviously, as well. Lost Vape. When Lost Vape are doing stuff like this, it's usually on point. Uh, I'll say that. I have, again, it's not, I, got, I like it when they start doing stuff that looks like practical like that. I think that's where it is. Stop trying to do fancy for no money. It doesn't work. <clears throat> I agree. Uh, this one, has, <laughs> this, I don't hate this either. This is the new Nox Pod Kit from Vandy Vape. Um, I, qu- I've seen that. I quite like it. I quite like it. It's kind of, you just drop the tank into the device. Kind of thing. Uh, Waiting on it. It's been, it's been, yeah. it's, oh, there we go. It's been yeah. done before, but there's something about this shape that kind of appeals to me. I think the the tank sort of looks like a proper vape tank, and it can fit in a proper battery as a result. And, and I yeah. think it'll be comfy in a hand. I don't actually mind that at all. Is there a five ten you can put in it? I don't. I don't, no, I don't think. Not a standard, no. Uh, but it wouldn't. But, be that the, but I mean, it would look. The good thing is about mods like that as well. Like, like it's not uh, trying to big it up a bit, but um, you can put that on the table and no one's gonna. It didn't look that shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's I not my cup of tea, but good. I don't. I don't hate that. I don't know what. I don't know how it'll vape or anything like. I'd that. like to see them do it. that properly, <laughs> without the drop-in tank thing. I think because I think it's a nice shape actually. Never thought of that. Nice shape, no, it's a, no. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what sort of drew me. It's a hand round like this, basically, because you just get your hand around it. It's it's almost a shame that you can see any of the tank. Yeah, you, like it all could drop in, couldn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 So just the drip tip's poking out. I don't know. Uh, so Scotty's saying, "What's the other side like?" I'm not. Sure. I assume it's. I assume it's blank. Yeah. I'm not yeah, sure. Be flat, won't it? Oh, oh, will it? I don't know. I presume it'll be 
protruding at the other side. Oh, it might be round. Yeah, it should be round at the other side. I don't think it'd be flat. Um, yeah. I meant like instead of having like a key, it's like a keel thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it could be. And uh, this is brand new from Watofo. It's been a little while since we've seen a new squonker. Well, certainly a new affordable. Oh, one. definitely. This is the profile squonk mod from Watofo. Eighteen six fifty regulated. Uh, you could, it's one of these where you can literally see everything inside. You can see the battery, the bottle, through the like sort of plastic back door, if you like. I seem to be behind everybody at the moment because I can't see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, it's just going funny. Got it. Oh, I like that. It's all right. And then on the yeah, other side, it looks like that. a completely normal mod. Yeah, I oh, think yeah, that's got. Yeah, yeah, I think people might like that. I don't know about the fucking why they put the fucking five ten in the middle, especially there. It doesn't make it's any sense. because of all these big eyes. Mm. Um. So I don't. Uh, so I don't. Know I, I don't hate that though. It's all right, especially as you say, one that's for the mainstream. It should be oh. deceptively small as well if you look at the dimensions. Yeah, it should be. Because if that's if that's a single eight six fifty and it's kind of just doubled up, so yeah. it should be. Quite, so yeah, like that, about there. Uh, y yes, it should be. It, maybe not too dissimilar to that. It could be rounded. slightly smaller actually. Yeah. Um, so well, the, I look forward to somebody. That's a good chuck around mod for someone who's a squonker as well. Yeah, I think so. I think that's not bad. I don't think that is bad. Personally, I'm not into squonking. I just don't like it. No. There's so many that is, especially our end of the game. Mm. There's loads I've of I've tried it. I've got the uh, dual top side. Yep. I'll just take my cup of tea. Yeah, if you even just sort of you either sort of click into a rhythm with it straight away, or you just never really get into it enough to. Yeah, it's funny. Rick is funky, and then you're gonna dry it. And... Rick, Rick <laughs> is obsessed. You know. Yeah, but they get. That's say though. Some people get into a rhythm with it, and I'd never know that they were doing it. Yeah. We're on to a red one. Uh, yes. Now this has been out a little bit. This is the uh, nitrous RDA from Dam Vape. Uh, what I will say is, uh, Mark Todd's just done a full proper review of this now, uh, so maybe worth a look. Uh, it's a funny looking thing, uh, and it's cloudy, but. Uh, we singled it out about a month ago because it's got a very nice, smart-looking deck. So it might be worth a look, that one. Uh, well, definitely have a look at Mark's video anyway. Cause Wait for it to repeat. There it is. There we go. Pretty, pretty, smart, pretty, smart, pretty smart deck on this. Nice little... And it's 22mm, and you can squonky and all that sort of stuff. So Very airy, I assume. Very, very, yeah, it's very a cloudy airy. little thing. Cloudy little thing. It's um, to the aroma of eyes of lights to steam crave the... Air flooring there. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, with the two tiers, yeah. Uh, BP mods, we like BP mods. Um, they have done... BP mods, it seems to always have their finger on the pulse. That's one thing about them. And they have done um, a BB and dot mod Atty, uh, which is the Pioneer. Pioneer Insider, they're calling it. Uh, the Pioneer was very popular mouth to lung tank from BP Mods, and now they've done a, a, a sort of a, a billet box oh. version of of that right. tank. So I presume it vapes like the profile. No, the Pioneer. It's but, very. I mean, I mean, it won't be on the inside, but it's very, and that's a clearly an artist impression. Yeah. But um, they've taken a lot from the EVL Alien. Yeah. The way the deck separates there, the fill port, yeah, it's very. Um... And and this is what BP mods do. They really, I don't know who's their consultant or de des designer or whatever, but they clearly have someone that's really into the community mm. and has the finger on the pulse with this stuff. And yeah. uh, they they cherry pick bits they like and try and bring things out. In real time, yeah, because I've seen the deck, it's completely different, so I'm not going to accuse them of stealing yeah. it or anything. No, but it yeah, just they, is... they tried to replicate their own tanked deck inside. Yeah, because it's very, very, very EVL alien, especially that, that tank, because I'd never seen that before we pulled the deck out. Like of a, no, that a was tank. genius. Yeah, yeah. That, that was first genius. time it had ever been done. Uh, I, think but I suppose amazing. you'll have known that uh, other people would, ha would have a go at that. Yeah, right? as you do, and you work out something that works, and it does, so... Uh, yes, so that is that. Is that a pick? Oh no, oh, this one as well. Um, this is uh, the U Well uh, A Gloss. We've literally run out of words now. 
haven't we? Yeah, I've just run out of Igloss H2, it's basically a drag. It's basically UL's go at a drag. However, as we always say, UL, UL do make very good coils. So it'll probably be a very solid vape. So if you've just if your drag's just broken, maybe have a look at that. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. This one I've chucked in. A, a man what a stuck. mental picture. Whoever's in charge of their social media, they won't make it float over a cliff in the sea. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we need a we need Random a one paraglider in the back. <laughs> Beautiful. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. This one, this is this is the new Vupu pod kit thing, the Vupu Argus Air, right? I put this in. Someone literally stopped me in the street to tell me how good this was. All right. They uh, saw me vaping and they went, "Hey, look at this. This is brilliant." And I'd look. I didn't really recognise it, but it was like Vupu. I was like, "Ah." And apparently, it's very, very good. I've been told by a guy on the street. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know if you can take that as a. I don't know. I don't know if that counts as a as a an official thing. But uh, yeah, one guy I know liked it. Um, this is from Ultrona. Uh, this is a mod they've already done before, but Ultrona, like they do, uh, always stabilise their existing stuff. This is a Sphinx in new stabilised colours. Um, it's kind of a big square mod. With a round back. Oh, that, oh, that would go up. Yeah, Sorry. pretty smart. Uh, 21700 DNA board. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not it's bad. It's been that, that, that looks like it uh, designed from about four years ago, but apart from that, it's fine. <laughs> the Ultrona sort of, this is, what they, they just, this is what they do. They don't seem to try and keep on curve or anything, they just put this stuff out. Uh, and then this we saw I don't know, if, again I don't think if this is a real picture with a fake backdrop or what, I think it must be but um, th this is uh, this is the, this boxer mod uh, side by side thing okay you know the 3D printer guys, the boxer, oh. boxer mod yeah, they, I hope it's good because they, they, they haven't they, they lost their stride for quite some time yeah yeah, so I don't know if that's they, not bad. They, You're right. They've just, I think they're actually just someone holding it in front of a screensaver. I don't really think that's even anything. Yeah, it's it exists. Of, that really is there. Jarring photograph. Yeah, um, but uh, pretty neat. Looks pretty neat. Uh, that's a GT4 inside it. Pretty neat. If you, uh, uh, it's okay. I think. I, I assume it's, it's a mech then. I, I, I assume it has to be. Oh. Weird. Oh, I, no, I don't oh, know because if you look at his little finger, it looks like mm -hmm. there's a button there. Oh, maybe there's a screen inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, obviously, oh, people to... love boxer, don't they? Yeah. I, I've never been that. You need to that like. Movie. You need to like that finish. You need to like yeah. that style of finish. Because they do it really well. It's just you have to like it because yeah. that's all they do. And it's not cheap. What it is? No. How much is it? Two hundred. Uh, they're always yeah, they're always around that. Uh, yeah, between hundred and two hundred. Mm. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's this. this Frank and Miser saying he got his first boxer recently. Hundred, one hundred C DNA rock solid. Rock solid. Yeah, they, are. They, are. they are. That's it. If you like it, you like it. It's that thing. But then lots. And of then they had a bit. Of, they had a bit of trouble with someone who sort of copied them. Yeah, the the boxer, the original, wasn't it really? There was a another company basically doing the exact same thing with a different name. Oh, was it Rebel or something like that? Yeah, can't I remember. remember. Um, so that, I think that sort of knocked them off their stride a bit. Uh, but yeah, not bad. Might be quite good. Don't know. Uh, so that is that. It is time. I think we can wait no longer. I think we've got to. What's the quiz? Got to oh, put you in the, put you in, the in the hot seat and ask you these questions. Ooh, actually. I need to get, unless this has a thing. Oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Right. So, uh, did you see Gareth do his questions? Yeah, but I can't remember them offhand. That's okay. Good. They weren't. The different questions, questions every time. Didn't <laughs> know, every time. Basi basically, we're going to ask you some. Uh, quite, we're going to ask you a minute's worth of questions. Oh, a minute. All right. Many, quick fire. Yeah, quick fire. Get as many right as you can, in the style of kind of. Mastermind. Yeah. If you don't, the, the tip is if you don't know, pass. Pass. Yeah. Yeah. 
basically yeah that's that yeah uh well i can give yourself a chance to remember yeah but, think uh, about but it. if yeah if, if you're wasting too much time and it pass uh is a good 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 tip right so are you ready yes i'm ready right uh so you can ask the first one john when i say okay go. okay uh go what was the name of Wismex's first series mech mod? Cricket. No, it's a cricket. Uh, what is the name of you of the UK's biggest vape meat? Expo. What was the name of Grim Green's original juice line? Pass. Who was named international uh, number one vape reviewer in the EC Click Awards 2018? International. Mm. Mike Vapes. What is the name of Mike Vapes latest RTA? Oh Yacht Vape, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, can't think of it. Uh what was the name of Tesla's first wooden mod? Wooden mod? Mm. Pass. The IVP Mini and the Finer RDA Stand were made so by finished. who? The, which one? The IP? The IVP Mini and the Finer RDA were made Finicky. by who? Okay, okay, right. Got you, I've got you at two. Right, you definitely got Noisy Cricket right and Expo right. Yes. Um, the Grim Green's juice line which you passed on, that is Namba Juice. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah, he was a, he was married to a lady called Amber, Amber. so it was Nick and Amber Juice. Right. Um, international reviewer of the year 2018 was Bogan. That's oh, Bogan. The first right. time he'd uh, picked that up. Before it was, like you say, Mike Vapes and people like that. Um, Mike Vapes' new RTA was the Eclipse. Oh, fair. Uh, Tesla's first wooden mod uh, was the Invader. And they went on to do loads of different Invader 2, Invader 3, and then they started I doubt doing it regular... it yeah. I doubt it would, and it wouldn't go. wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, carry on. Uh, and the last one, you're a bit unlucky with this one, I reckon. Uh, IVP Mini and the finer RDA. Uh, has it come to you now? Who made this? IVP. I thought IVP. Anakin. No, IVP. It was Pioneer for you. Oh right, yeah, yeah. They've gone massively under the radar of recent times. I got two. Well, that's all right. That's you same, got two. Same as the devil. You're in the second devil. place. You're in the jo- 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 joint, joint, jo- second. joint second place with the devil vapor. It's a lot. It's a lot harder when you're uh, doing it live. Uh, you, no, but pretty good. Pretty good effort. Pretty good effort. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, let's see. Let's see how people did in chat. I'll just ask. Devil's in. Know. Devil's in. So you're. I got told in. Oh, he's saying. He's saying we. Yeah. That's... No, he's telling us to before Speak we start. Really quickly. Yeah, so you get some more. He just yeah, got pa- I don't know. I don't know, what I'm, I don't know what happened to Pioneer for you. They had a thing going on with Yee They always used to use Yee and they just kind of disappeared. Uh, Andy Fairchild says he's got three. Chris did rubbish. Rubbish. Four, says SPR. That's Bob Clark, right. rubbish. Oh, come on, Shrek. You're all right, yeah. You've been looking at your phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the devil's just saying they come to me the other day. I got 20 right, says the devil. That's paper. impressive. Because we That's asked very... him. Very. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tired of number, Jules. Oh. I, think, uh, yeah. I, think he, I think he killed it. Oh, he's killed them all now, hasn't he? He had, to, he had to, because they changed the regulations in the state, yeah. so they, they killed it, yeah. There's so many problems with vaping in the US. But I think he'd already dropped Namba Juice a while back. Uh, yes, so not bad, not a bad effort at all. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Have we done all the things we have? We're oh, I've got, I got a bit of Just Ethnic News. Good. It's a really good bit of Just Ethnic News as well. Uh, Cactus Punch and all of the Cactus Punches are back early next mm. week. Um, after some Brexit, everybody thinks things are really easy, like with every company, but they're not. And um, Mark's really struggled, had had struggled to get ingredients, especially with the, it was all to do with Brexit, because taxation changes and stuff like that. Anyway, 
one because one of the flavors in cactus punch nobody else uses at all but cactus punch so it's back and it's back next week that gives us seven lines back with obviously christ knows how many changes you know in, in concentrates and kits and stuff like that and i've had so many people ask me when's it back when's it back it's back now the so, thing have, is, so can... have you been sold out for ages Absolutely ages, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just went in the middle of the pandemic, like about four months ago or something. I like the normal one. The Cactus Punch original. Because everyone likes the mojito and Jackie. What's Jackie? Jackie is like such a tropical-y kind yeah, of taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Zing. Yeah, actually Cactus Punch, the original, <laughs> far outsells the rest. Oh, right, okay. So it's, it's what people's misconceptions, but there's loads of people who just have it with them all the time. Yeah. When we get it back, just stock yourself up and then we'll stock up again. Um, what have we got in at the moment? I changed the price. If you liked Coil Vapes, Dem2, which is mint, um, tobacco and vanilla, it's on offer at the moment for half price, I think. Yeah. Uh, in concentrates, if you make your own e-liquid. So just go and get it. Because once it's gone, it's gone because Coil Vapes don't exist anymore. So can do that christopher murray says zing is better i think yeah there's the uh, people get the zing is really popular that's green mango with um, the cactus punch background how many so how many is there four no <laughs> seven seven mm. oh I haven't, I haven't tried them all then yeah yeah have you had custard mojito zing yeah. tropical not original original Oh, well. um jackie yeah that's good that's exciting that's good you, that's They're that's good to, good to hear so what, ne back. hopefully next week yeah early next week should be yeah should be from sunderland to me and out straight out the door as soon as i know the eta i'll give it out properly um yeah as we all know like <clears throat> this pandemic that well pandemic and brexit's hit like everybody's Shops are empty. Some things we can't get dog biscuits at the moment. Supply like, supply chain issues. Dog can, treats. Yeah. It's there for yeah. It's because and we've got a massive problem in Suffolk, where uh, fruit is ripe now and there's no one to pick it. No, no, pickers have all gone back home. Yeah, because they, well, people didn't know how the no, industry going was. back uh, 30, 40 years ago. We used to pick all this fruit. Mm. Yeah, but not now. Yeah, I know. I, it's it's, yeah, because the farmers were. Paying under the minimum wage to all these. Yes, what they, yeah, exactly. So but, taking advantage. They did it, yeah, gang work, and they lied and called it an educational thing, and they pay them fuck all, and then they sleep in a port cabin. But if you live in, it's funny how I've noticed, and you must have had this all the way through the pandemic in the north and it south. It wasn't illegal because of the port cabins, wasn't it? No, that was it. Yeah, yeah because you were charging you were accommodation. Charging them, yeah, 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 so um, yeah, and yeah. and food. So it's bollocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, there's so many times in the last few years where I did not know that people didn't know how something worked. So there must be things in the north side. Mm -hmm. Because like, I've lived by the sea my whole life. I didn't know that people didn't know how fishing worked. Until Brexit, I didn't know they didn't know. So they said, well, this is ours. And I said, yeah, but what if when the fish leave? And they said, where are they going? What do you mean, where are they going? And they said, what? And I said, when the sea's really cold, you get cod species yeah. are here had a container. and when it heats up you get bass and flatfish and stuff where are they going in the in-between I, I fuck off on holiday what are you talking about you dickhead they don't, <laughs> just, they don't just sit in the water all day <laughs> no that's not how it works but so yeah oh, I didn't know people didn't know that I didn't what, know what that... I will say I didn't know how hard fishing was until there was that documentary type thing uh, oh trawler Scotland men. oh trawler men. yeah fuck terrible it's a horrible job Great! That was a wicked. The, the British one was brilliant. I really liked all the the tour stuff. They had um, the other thing I didn't know is that people didn't know how farming works. I said everything that's hand picked is shit this year. This was last year because it's all over because they haven't picked it fast enough. And they said what's hand picked, and I said, well, ha asparagus is hand picked, and they went, no, it was a machine, and I went, no, it's a bloke with a blade. And then I said, and fruit like raspberries and blackberries are all hand picked. You sure? I'm not, don't check, mate. There's one down the road. I'll go down there and show you. I didn't know that people didn't know. Uh, can I ask Richard a question? Yeah, go if you like. This is uh, from the same part of the woods that I'm from. And uh, it's a small world we live in because Richard got in touch with me yesterday and he looked at my Facebook profile. And on there, 
It's got where I, my previous employer was, and I worked there 32 years, and Richard's dad worked at the same employee. Mad, isn't it? what I did. Yeah, mad. And I knew Richard's dad because we were in the offices. Yeah. Yeah. I really like it. And I always, well, I, I would like to believe you always were from Huddersfield and you live in Leeds. Mm. Yeah. So, when you I'm, know, like the pubs and that around Huddersfield. Yeah, no, so um, I grew up, I grew up in Huddersfield, grew up in um, Honley, like, like I said, Honley, and then yeah. we went to Huddersfield Uni, but then as soon as I started working, I worked in Leeds, at, so I was always working in Leeds, and so moved further and further over towards Leeds, you know, sort of Cleck Eaton, and then even further and even further, uh, but then when we had, when, when we had our second child, we came back because the grandparents were really handy for all the things. Right, so, yeah, yeah. so yes, I'm, I'm sort of back in Huddersfield now. So, oh, right, so, so I'm in Almondbury now. Oh, so, Almondbury, yeah. right, fair enough. Yeah, so, so not, not far have, away. Have you time. been to uh, Magic Rock Brewery yet down on oh, uh, I've been to John's been, Road? No, I haven't been to the proper one. I've been to the one in Home Firth. Oh, Firth. Oh, I haven't been in that yet. In, yeah. that, in the old bank. Yeah. yeah, I remember because um, it was like a... Do you remember it was like a secret at first? They had like a secret, like a video that showed you how to get there, and it was like round the back of a thing, and and then oh, but now it's, it's a proper, it's a proper fancy place now, isn't it? Yeah. Also, oh, yeah. next time we'll be what's called in the big day of apes. It's only around yeah. Canada. Yeah, well. <laughs> I really man, magic rock makes a fucking amazing bit. Yeah, magic rock. Well, really, really, really. Yeah, and during the, the lockdown, they were doing them beer kegs. Oh really? Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah, yeah. they were selling. They were selling. Yeah, they basically you can get the cans and all, can't you? Like I think my two favourites are Cannonball, and they do a weirdly it's gluten free, but you wouldn't know called Fantasia, which is fucking brilliant beer. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember because I, I cook Christmas uh, dinner every year, and I'd bought some Fantasia, and I was just wankered in the kitchen, absolutely <laughs> wankered. <laughs> I was thinking nobody come in because I'm well pissed. Like <laughs> it's disappointed. I didn't but, stop. Uh, it's like in Huddersfield Town Centre with a railway station, which is like a listed building, one of the nicest railway stations in the country. And there's a pub at each end. Nice. Yeah, they had this theme, and it's the King's Arms now. It used to be, what it used to be called before, Richard? Uh, I, can't, King's Arms. I can't remember. I'll come to I was, it's the King's I, I, Arms. I always used to go in the head of steam. But uh, both real ale pubs and the head of steam, you can go in there and they must have 12 to 14 amples on. Every every week, every day, like yeah, that's Big great. Blackboard. I was watching um, Oz and James. Oh, when they did, uh, and then they went in there. Yeah. Oh, it, what, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Jewsbury, Huddersfield, and Staley Bridge, were not yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So there's another one up near you which you should try. I think it's Yorkshire. It's called Steam Machine. It's a nice bar and a mm. brewery. They brew, brew all the beers on site. He well, um. He's got a channel on YouTube as well. And he made, they, 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 he started about five or six years ago. And he's, I think he's really just a really nice bloke. Well, down opposite where he used to work for our events is the uh, Rat and Ratchet opposite. They've got a brew house in it. Yeah, yeah, the Rat Brewery. And then before that, they were, well, they still do loads of Osset as well. Osset, oh, Osset, yeah, yeah. It's a nice uh, micro brewery town, was Phil. Yeah. <sighs> Doing all right for beer up there. Yeah. 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 I like it. Absolutely. I've really loved. I've loved the beer explosion in the last like five to eight years. It's been brilliant. I really, really. Well, like I say, you go to the supermarkets now. And they've got aisles of beer like, cans and bottles, haven't they? Yeah. To yeah. Com- com- compare you know, years ago, they were only a little section, but and it was all shit though. It was like before, yeah. it was things that nobody like. I buy my uh, father-in-law beers for Christmas and birthdays and stuff. And you know, I can probably do it with you, Richard, as well, actually. You know when you know somebody else's taste of beer because it might not be what you fancy. Like I'll try a beer and I don't like it, so I know he'll like it. Yeah. Like, I... Oh right, so yeah, yeah. If it's got a really like, I, if it's an IPA but it's got it's quite barrelly, then I know it's going to be more his kind of thing than mine. And if it tastes like, it's, if it's got um, mosaic or citrus hops in it, it's a bit mangoey or or passion fruity. He'll tell me that I should try it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I bought him a load of. Um, what's the one that Rick likes? The Rebel. No, not Rebel. Beaver Town. The... Beaver Town. I bought him because I don't really like Beaver Town. So I bought him Beaver Town for his birthday the other week, and I think it went down a treat. 
because that's what. No, I'm just two questions before we go because it's 25 past. <laughs> What's your favourite cartoon character, both of you? Oh, it's a good question. I like that. Ooh. And when you come on Simon's at the show, you, you'll have a proper questions. <laughs> if you come on, yeah, yeah Oh, I got, I got mine. I think I'm going to say Dog Tanyon from Dog ah, Tanyon. Ah, Three Musketeers. Yeah, because when I was a kid, I always, uh, I used to, we used to watch Dog Tanyon, and uh, I, my mum had a medicine man, um, an ornament, which is a man holding a rainbow above his head but if you held it right it looked like a sword handle and i went down the road to be dog tanya and broke it i still think you forgive me for that yeah uh, god that's throw me it's, it's too easy to start saying marty isn't it from rick and marty that's okay it's not even i don't know if that counts i don't know i don't know i really as a as a child i really liked the tur- teenage mutant ninja turtles so maybe oh, which one who was your know. favorite teenage mutant ninja turtle uh, well Michelangelo was the funny one, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Funny say, one. Probably say him. The pizza eating one. Mm. Yeah, I went to school once, handcuffed to a Michelangelo. Just to show I had a Michelangelo stuffed toy, and my friend had a set of handcuffs, but not the keys. And he put it on one, and I'd put it on the. It's totally true. Turtle's neck, and we had PE in the afternoon, and I had to get a PE with Michelangelo in a packed carrier bag on my hand because I was locked to it. But I couldn't say I'm currently locked to a stuffed toy. So I said I forgot my PE kit and, the head t- and then he went mad at me and he told me I had to get to take some kit from the stinky bag and I had to tell him to fuck off mm-hmm. so I got a detention so I didn't have to reveal my clan today. And my last question, ask every one of my guests on my the show, um, what's your favourite sausage? Now, this is laughable because I've got a nickname, Simon Sos- Sausage 62. <laughs> So your favourite sausage? I tell you what, I went to Howarth last week, and that's why there was no show. Um, and we we had a went to a B and B, and it's a lovely, lovely B and B, and it's a lovely English breakfast. But the sausage was too fancy. You know, like when there's too many I'm herbs with you. For, and spices. For I want that's not what you want. I want for a it to taste of sausage. You know. Um, what do you mean? What? <laughs> Pork and leek. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's too much sage and oh, basil so, yeah. and tamarind and fanciness. Tamarind? You're making up spices now. Yeah, I'm not, not even enough. Not a big foodie. Um, yeah. So I don't. So so what does that what does that mean? I just like I just What's like a really sausage? good pork sausage. Because we had uh, Luke LPC vapes on the Saturday show a few months ago, and he's a butcher. Right. And we got talking about some. I just says, "What's your favourite sausage?" And everybody's burst out laughing, taking the wrong side of the sausage sort of thing. <laughs> so it's, it's just what I think. We got and, the uh, essence of vapes. Last Friday did a live show, and that got into a bit of a sausage fest and all. So it's just a bit of a running <laughs> joke. The the butcher, which is 150 metres from our house, sells according to them, and we live in I've Suffolk, so we are pork. We are the county of pork. Yeah, they sell the best sausages in Suffolk. They have the award for it, um, so I'm going to say their butcher's sausages. Is right, what right. Right. They're all right. Do you know the thing I've noticed is that if you buy fancy supermarket sausages, one of their problems is their skins too thick. Like for a sausage sandwich, if you take a bite, you go mm. pierce yeah. the skin. You kind of yeah. draw it out. It's like eating a condom full of pork. <laughs> not, not weird. Not yeah. enough, not enough really fat in some of them as well. <laughs> they don't cook well. I, I totally, I, but I do agree. I think there's Lots a limit people, how much, you, you know. How, if you're getting you know. minced beef and you get, you need 20% fat because it won't fucking, it won't be right. It'll be stringy shit. Oh, you've started, as, on, you've started as a food now. Well, I, do your pricky sausages. That gets I, a lot. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a sausage pricker myself. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys, I brought this down. So. <laughs> I, uh, I do for the barbecue. Yeah, yeah. well, the reason, because I were in scouts, and butcher them, scouts, yeah. and we used to cook up an open fire, open fire, and we used to get butcher sausages. We tell prick them, else they'll bloody explode. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think they'd explode anymore because I don't think there's enough fat in there to explode. Yes, I think that's 29 minutes past perfect, 10. Perfect questions to end on. Yeah, it was good, actually. I enjoyed those. Don't yeah. forget to go over to www.justednick.org.uk and oh, buy if, uh, oh, I've put another link in to your channel. Everyone should check Cheers. that out. 
and um, I'll remind people on Saturday as well about your Saturday show. Thank uh, you. So we get people over there. Uh, yeah. So thank you very much for coming on. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank you very for much for having me on. Absolutely, no worries at all. Um, and we'll see you all next week. We're back next week. See you all next yes. week. Yes. We'll see you next week with another person to do that. Thanks for coming on, Simon. It was really great. No problem. Cheers. Bye. And we're off. Stay there.